New Eureka Cafe, Sunday afternoon, New Year's Day, January 1st, 2017. Alphabet City, Forever Night, Siempre Noche. A long line already snakes down East 3rd Street at 1.30 p.m. Anxious poets fretting to get inside the venue as early as possible. Set up the poets' check-in desk, the open mic list, anthology sales desk, and merchandise table on the overheated second floor alcove. Clyde arrives with 150 copies of this year's poetry anthology for 200 poets. Hey, we ran out early last year. Can I buy eight copies of the anthology? One copy for myself. I am a contributor to the anthology, so I get one for half price. And seven more for my friends. I can't sell you any of the anthologies right now. Why not? You got the shipment in right now. Why not? Because just look behind you. There are 50 poets standing right behind you, all waiting to check in. You are holding up the line. You can come back later after I've checked them all in and buy as many of the anthologies as you want later. But what if you run out like you did last year? We got 150 copies. We ain't going to run out. A line of disgruntled and patient poets stretches behind her, across the room, down the stairs, and into the club's lobby, and out the front door and into the street. The exasperated anthology buyer stalks off in a huff. You know, we ran out early last year, Big Mike. Are you not entertained? Have I not entertained you? Die up, be scum! Die up, be scum! Die up, be scum! You can't buy love. Do you have a boyfriend these days? I wish. I'll be your boyfriend. I got money these days. I can take you out. I can buy you dinner. I can pay for a hotel room for us. I can buy you things. I can even afford Viagra. You can't buy love. You know, I wouldn't worry if I were you, Big Mike. She's really interested in you. I can tell by her body language. She's really into you. I can tell. You got nothing to worry about. She really wants you. Just call it my woman's intuition. I'm lost! Where the hell is this New Eureka Cafe? I'm done 10th Street and have you be. Where is this place? You told me to come between 11 and 12. Who's still there? I said I'm hosting the 10 to 11 slot. I told you I could put you on between 11 and 12 on the open mic list. I didn't tell you to arrive at the New Eureka at 11.39 p.m. Nobody's left here. There's about 10 people left in the audience. I gotta fix my hair. I gotta change my shoes. How many of my books gonna leave out on the table for people to buy? I gotta go outside for a smoke, a cigarette. I need a drink. By default, Sandra's the final poet to perform at the marathon. It's already the morning of January the 2nd. By the time she stumbles onto the stage of the New Yorkian Cafe to read her poetry piece about guns and Buddhist breathing techniques. You know, I was planning to fuck her, even pack the Viagra just for the occasion. But it's 1 a.m. I've been confined inside this overheated black hole of Calcutta stifling theater for the last... 12 hours with 200 petty, self-involved, self-entitled, no-talent poets without a break. I'm tired out, dried out, yelled out, and my stomach hurts. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go home. I gotta lay down. My legs are killing me. And Sandra's pulling the old standard. I stick my huge silicone-enhanced double-D tits in the bartender's face and get him to ply me with free beers routine, which I have no time for, no patience for, at this hour of the morning. So I hobble to Avenue A, grab a taxi home to the West Village, all alone. <laughs>